Apparently she's boo-boo. Okay, this is Karen and Kate, and we're going to show you what Kate's learned while she's been here. And just to let you know, I have a giant Doberman right here, so if the video shakes, it's because she ran over here and wanted to play ball, and she's a distraction for Kate. So, uh, first thing we teach puppies, dogs, anyone that comes for training is that their name is a command, and when you say the dog's name, it means to look up and make eye contact. Kate! Yes, good girl. girl. So you say Kate in a happy tone of voice. She looks up, she makes eye contact. Yeah, give her lots of praise. Kate. If you want, you can give her a treat. This is a time you really want her to look, so treats are fine. Okay. Next thing we do okay. walking on a loose leash. We say let's go. We don't say heel. Let's go. Take start walking, say let's go. Here we go. Pat your leg. As long as she stays on your left side and doesn't get too far ahead or too far behind, that's all we want at this point. When you come to a halt, we have the dog sit next to us. This is useful for when you're crossing the street, meeting a person on a walk, and you need your dog under control. If she were to ever get too far ahead of you, you can do as a circling like Karen's doing now. You can do a quick about turn, and that will get her attention back on you. Then we teach them sit and stay. And the stay command is a flat hand in front of the face, along with stay. the verbal word stay. Stay, Kate. Good girl. Praise her while she's doing what you want. You can throw toys. She's had distractions around her, dogs playing, the cat that lives here. Stay. All kind of fun stuff. So she's pretty stay. solid with her stays. If Kate were to move, just gently say, uh-uh. Remind her that she's making a mistake. Put her back where she was and then have her stay again. Okay. We do girl. use tra treats occasionally, especially with puppies Kate's age. And we use treats with puppies that are a little more on the submissive or nervous side. And that helps build up their confidence. So you will know uh, if you see Karen give her a treat every once in a while, that's why. Good job. Next thing we do with the puppies is teach them the down command. Good girl. You point down to the ground. Good. All the way down. Perfect. Make sure she's rolled over on a hip. You don't want her sitting up sphinx style because that's when they tend to jump up and want to move. And we have a distraction coming in the room. Heard someone walking. You can see she's used to a lot of activity. And she's staying very well. As long as she stays and she's doing what you want, always praise her. You've got to praise her. She's got to know what she's doing is right. The biggest problem we see in training is two things. One, people repeating commands and not insisting the dog honor them. And the second is people not praising when the dog is doing the correct thing. So always give her lots of praise when she's doing what you want. Good girl. Next thing we teach the puppies is to come when called. We use a 20 foot long line for this and you'll want to get a long line yourself. We sell them here. You can buy them at the pet store, go to the hardware store, buy some cord, make your own. The long line lets the dog get further away from you and you can do a come command. Good girl. So you want to say her name say come and you saw her come running right to Karen sits in front and gets a treat for doing such a wonderful job and Bria says I want a treat too good girl and hey puppy puppy hey hey puppy 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 good you saw she was distracted, but she looked at Karen when Karen said her name, and she came right up to Karen and sat right in front of her. And that's an ideal come command right there. That was perfect. Good girl. Let's go. Sit. Good job. All the way down. Good job. Very good. Good girl. And we're going to send a folder of information home with you. Uh, read through it. There's training articles. There's an article in there about socializing and building confidence in your puppy or dog. Feel, uh, be sure and read that and work with Kate. She's a little too submissive and shy. If you can, build up her self-confidence with some of the exercises that are in the article. Uh, the obedience training is going to help bring her back to class. Okay. You've got six classes and be sure and have your private lesson. And the contact info for the private lesson is in your folder.
And if you have any questions or concerns, call us or email us and we'll respond as quickly as we can. But there's Kate. Oh, and she's She little... loves the table. Yeah. She's really insecure even though she's sweet and, you know, likes people and everything, but just definitely has a security issue. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs>